if my man did that to some other girl, I know I would be mad, so. And she was like, Krista, you need to take table 36. They have been sitting there for like five minutes already. That's Boy, no. And when I say he came out of nowhere, I mean he came out of nowhere. Like he was literally sent from heaven to help me because. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Clarissa. Y'all already know. Today I'm gonna be doing another story time and today's topic is going to be about why I quit my job. Yes, joy, right? I don't wanna make this intro too long, um, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, the video turns out to be pretty long. I'm probably gonna make a part one and a part two because there's a lot of things that I need to cover. Let's just say a lot happened in the one month that I was working at my job. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna give you guys a backstory, okay? Just a little backstory, just so you guys know me, you understand where I'm coming from, things like that. So you can ask any one of my old managers um, that when I work, when I'm at work, I put in work. I will put in work and I do the extra work and I help out the other, you know, employees and I'm not, I'm not a lazy worker and anyone that knows me knows that. Like I'm not lazy, I'm not lazy at all when it comes to my job. <sighs> I don't know why my heart is pounding. Oh! I'm not lazy when it comes to my job. I used to be a supervisor, okay? So don't don't come for me. I want to say in April, April, Marchish, I don't know. But I got this job a few months ago. Um everything was good. The girl called me, she interviewed me, um and the position that I was going into work for was a server. Server is like a server waitress, things like that. So that's what you know that's what was going on that's what I was so fast forwarding into actually working there um, it took me about two weeks I want to say two to three weeks was it two to three weeks yeah about two to three weeks to actually become a server and have my own tables because there's a lot of training involved um, you had a, you have to like kind of understand what you're doing you have to be organized you have to multitask things like that so yeah it took me at least three weeks to actually learn and get down everything that I had to do and I was actually pretty good at what I did honest I was actually pretty good I was really good at multitasking I was good at keeping up with my tables I was good with everything so when you are a server slash waiter or I was a waitress not a waiter but when you are that you are responsible in greeting your customer um, taking their drinks and then taking their order giving them their food and giving them their check and that's pretty much it that's all you got to do So I'm gonna start off with like the good slash funny things that happened at my job which there was only like three I think no there was four there was four good things see like I have a whole list like, this is how long the list is that all happened in a month I had to like sit down and write everything so ugh, I'm done rambling let's just get right into it okay so the first good slash funny thing that happened was there was this guy that came in with his daughter there was a lot going on that day so I was running back and forth I was constantly like just doing something I was on the go I think that was the day that I quit okay yeah this is the day that I quit and I had about nine tables and this guy he was just like you know how when someone makes eye contact with you you think that they need something so I came up to him and I was like hey did you need anything like um how how's your food how's this how's that you know what i mean and no i don't need anything i was like oh, okay and this is literally him this is him he's like i'm just respecting your hustle hustle and i'm just like sitting there trying not to die like trying not to die laughing because just the way he said it just had me dying like inside like 
I probably had, I don't know, I don't know. It was just so embarrassing and funny at the same time to me. So just the way he said it, like, I'm gonna replay it for you guys. He's like, I'm just respecting your hustle. Like, it was funny and I was just, I was like, thanks. Like, I don't know what to say. What the fuck do you say to that? And then he was like, can I have your pen? Cause I used to have like this shirt and it was a button up and it had a pocket right here. So in the pocket, that's where I held all my pens. And he was like, hey, can I have your pen? And I was like, um, yeah, like, here you go. And he was like, you got a man? And I'm just like, yeah, I got a man and I got a kid. And he's like, man. Oh, it was just so funny. The first thing that he said to me, like, I'm just respecting your hustle. Like, boy, no. Anyways, I thought that was one of the funny things that happened. He's the one, he actually left me a $15 tip which I was like so surprised that he did because one, I turned him down. Two, that day was just crazy and we'll get into that later. And three, um, something had happened with his order, but you know what, that was pretty cool that he left me a $15 tip. Okay, on to the next thing. There was this one time when I had plates of food in my hand and I turned and I literally almost dropped all the plates like I'm not even lying they weren't balanced correctly on my arm but literally like this bus boy he came out of nowhere and when I say he came out of nowhere I mean he came out of nowhere like he was literally sent from heaven to help me because I would have dropped all my tables food right then and there like it would have been bad it would have happened in front of everybody like he saved me he saved me he saved me when I say he saved me he saved me like I just want to thank that bus boy for like saving me from all the humility that would have happened with that um, I'm a very clumsy person as well. other servers this girl was always so mean like she was so bossy she was such a bully well there was this table that had sat down and it wasn't my table because it wasn't in my name it wasn't my area or whatever I had tables on the patio so she came at me out of nowhere from across the freaking where the customers are and then she was coming into where the servers go and she was like Krista you need to take table 36 they have been sitting there for like five minutes already that's your table I don't know why you're taking why you're not taking it she made me so mad like how are you gonna yell at me in front of everybody like that like that's embarrassing that's degrading in a way that's like that was just so disrespectful that she did that like I was like first of all that's not my table second of all don't come at me like that like nobody's yelling at you why the hell are you yelling at me like no no honey boo boo I was like that's not my table I was like don't like I would have taken it if she was more nice about it but no you're not gonna yell at me you're not gonna no just just like I'm busy you can take the table like literally like it was in her section why I don't know. She was a jerk. She was really jerk. She was one of the bigger bullies. Being, like, like working there, the customers were really touchy. Like they were really touchy. Like they would touch my arms. Well, cause I have like I have my tattoos. So like they would always compliment my tattoos. I have my Frankenstein, my owl, my roses, my birds, whatever. They would always compliment my tattoos, but they would always grab my arm and like that would make me so uncomfortable because what gives you the right to put your hands on me? You know what I mean? Like I know I know they were being nice and I know like I remember this one time this guy he had tattoos too and he grabbed my arm and he was like oh my god like that Frankenstein is so nice. His wife was sitting right there and I'm just like if my man did that to some other girl, I know I would be mad, so... I don't know, that's just me, but I, it was just... It was just weird, like the customers felt like they were allowed to touch you. Like they were allowed to put their hands on you and grab your arm and twist your arm. Like I got that a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I couldn't even believe all these customers that did that. But I got that. There was this one cook in particular. His name, we'll call him... Um, We'll call him, we'll call him Bacon. How about that? We'll call him Bacon. Um, he was, he was one of the cooks that everybody just 
had an issue with like everyone had an issue with him everyone argued with him he was a jerk okay when i say jerk he was a jerk i had an order in and i had everything in my order everything was good i had all the people's plates the only thing i was missing was these they were like wheat pancakes like instead of regular pancakes you get wheat pancakes and he had never made them or put them on the thing because they weren't up there all the other food was up there but not that one dish and i needed it because these people were waiting for a while already and they had everything on their table but just this one item and they were asking me they were like where are my wheat pancakes that's all we're missing blah 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 and you don't want to make your customer mad because once your customer is mad and annoyed you don't get a tip like you do get a tip but it's a shitty ass tip so it's like you kind of really got to do everything you can in your power just to make your customer happy i came back i came back to go get like the wheat pancake hey bacon um do you have the wheat pancakes for table so and so this is him literally i called his name he could hear me i could hear you can hear everybody so it's not something to where he couldn't hear me i knew he was ignoring me so he ignored me when i asked him and i was like hey bacon like i need my wheat pancakes for this table they're asking for them they've been waiting for like 20 minutes already um where's my wheat pancakes boy where's my wheat pancakes like like that and he was like still ignoring me like he was still ignoring me he acted like i wasn't even there he acted like i didn't exist like i was like okay um so then i had another girl which she was another server and i was like hey can you ask bacon um if he made the wheat pancakes because he's literally ignoring me and this is when i was new so this is the type like this is the time when i didn't really want to piss people off that i worked with because then your job is gonna suck because people hate you so i just didn't want to make enemies um so she had asked him and he he acknowledged her he acknowledged her and he was like i already made it somebody already took it that's not my fault she needs to get her orders correct blah 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 you're gonna get mad at me because someone else took my plate i don't have my plate why you know like what it's it's not my fault it's not my fault that someone else took it so why are you gonna take it out on me so yeah that happened um i told him i was just like you know what like i haven't got my pancakes the customers have been waiting you ignore me so what am i supposed to do like i need my pancakes i need my pancakes and i need them now and the girl's like yeah she needs her pancakes right now because the customers are getting irritated and he gave me like the worst like he gave me like he stared me down while he was pouring because there's like this thing that they pour the pancakes in he literally stared me down while he was doing it and i was just like whatever like i walked away i came in the next day after that whole incident and it ended up okay so when you stock you have to go to the back it's called the dry room where everything that doesn't go in the fridge it goes in the dry room so i went back there and i think i went to go get syrup i don't know what i got but i went back there and he happened to be back there and he was just like hi krista i love your hair he's like i like your hair or something like that and i'm like nothing like did you not just yell at me yesterday or am i crazy and i was just like thanks and it was just weird because we were back there by ourselves so no one else was back there so i was like i need to get out of here so i thought that was kind of like with the same cook with bacon and when they we done okay so when they get your order after you put it in the computer a ticket comes up in the kitchen and it tells you exactly what you need so there was an order that i had put in wrong and the person that ordered they wanted um two bacon and two sausage okay so i accidentally put one bacon and one sausage so when i gave them their plates they're like oh um we asked for two bacon two sausages i was like oh okay that's fine let me fix that for you that was my bad when when servers make mistakes they tell the kitchen first before they put it in the computer and i've seen it done like so many times like like so many times so um i went up because there's like two windows on each side so there's two people on each side and the windows like this long so let's 
like pretend this is the window and these are the two people so on my side of the window i was on the right side so i was on the right gallery it's called a gallery so i was on the right gallery and guess who's on the right gallery with me so bacon is making my food that i'm putting in and i tell them i tell him i was like i need a side of sausage and a side of bacon because i forgot to put it in the order or whatever he was like no i was like what like i looked at him like what he was like no he's like i need a ticket first i'm not gonna put i'm not gonna give you this side of sausage and bacon if i don't have a ticket and i'm like you do it for everybody else i'm about to put it in the computer what's the issue like what what's your issue you know you can tell this boy had an issue with me i don't know what it was but he had an issue with me so my manager was right there too and she has done it she has done it so many times and she has let people do it so many times so um she was like yeah he needs the ticket before he can make it for you and i'm like i've seen him do it like i've seen him do it for other servers why is it when it comes to me everything's an issue she was like i don't know krista i don't have time and i'm just like i'm done i'm done you want to agree with the asshole cook that keeps giving me issues i'm done whatever so i walked away i did what i had to do waited for my side put my thing in the computer whatever the cook was an ass um the cook was a jerk he was a jerk that's all there is to it like he was weird he was a jerk i first started working there um i had gotten well i was still in training but they were actually letting me take orders on the tables they were letting me take my own tables but they were like closely watching me just in case i made a mistake or if i needed help whatever so there was this big party that had came in and the servers the two girls that were training me they were like ugh, like they were kind of like being bitchy about it that there was like a lot of people so they were like oh um we should have krista take it you know like i saw them before they said that and they were like oh well, let's have krista take it so i was like okay like i'll take it like it's a big table it means bigger tips you know what i mean so i went over there I took their drinks I waited a while I came back took their order tell me why after I did that they were like oh, okay well the manager said you can clock out now like these bitches used me so I could take the drinks in their order like I did the hard part all they had to do was bring the food so that was kind of like it was kind of messed up um like I don't know like, I thought it was like so mean that they did that to me like I could have made a big tip with that table and whatever Aww. this is like a tiny incident there was this girl she was new like i was but she had started like a week before i did so she kind of knew more than i did so when she would ask me like questions about the register or ask me certain things i always helped her like if i knew what she was asking i would help her i would you know i didn't mind like i'm like i'm learning too i would like if someone helped me you know what i mean so i noticed that every time that i asked her a question she would always say i don't know 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 so she never helped me and i started catching on that she never would help me when i asked her a question and i was just like i'm done helping you we ain't friends we ain't cool peace the fuck out okay there was another girl <laughs> there are so many girls that just gave me issues but there was another girl and um this is when i had first started getting my tables and i was getting more comfortable um the only thing i had a problem with was the register because the register had so many buttons and so many modifications and just things like that